Okay, so let's say that you are walking along, and here you are, and you come to this large tower right here, and you look up at a 60 degree angle and see the top of the tower, and your eyes are five feet off the ground. Okay, so how do you find out how tall the tower is? Just by looking at it. Well, all you have to know is how far you are standing from the tower. In this case, the center of the tower because the tower peaks right there. And that's it. That's all you got to know. If you're looking at it at, up at it at a 60-degree 60, 60 angle and the tower is at a 90-degree angle to the ground, you can tell how high it is. Okay, so what do we do? Well, it's 58 feet from your eyes to the center of the tower, let's say. Okay, and don't forget your five feet off the ground. We'll add that in later. So, this is a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, which has really cool properties. Um, one being that this distance, we can tell right away, is 116 feet. Why? Well, because, as we talked about in our other videos with the 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is always double of this short side down here. Okay, what else do we know? Well, we want to find the height. And we can do that right now by solving the Pythagorean theorem. We could say, oh, 58 squared plus the unknown height, let's call it B for the leg, right, equals 116 squared, that's the, that's the hypotenuse squared. We could square these numbers, subtract 58 squared from 116 squared, and take the square root of that, to find B. Or we can look at oops, minus a simple property in the 30, 60, 90 right degree triangle. It's just that if you take the hypotenuse and divide it by 2 and multiply it by the square root of 3, you get this length right here. Or in other words, if you take this short side and multiply it by the square root of 3, then you have the height. And that's the height of the tower from your eye line to the top. And you could work it out here if you want to. But that means the total height is this number plus the five feet off the ground. And you could write that as 58 times the square root of three plus five. And you could approximate this if you want to. You could estimate the square root of three as some decimal, multiply it by 58 and add five and you'll get the height of the tower. Um, or you can estimate the square root of 3 is about 1.5, or pretty close to 2. Um, multiply it by 58, add 5, and you'll have the height of your tower. And that's it. So again, the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle is such a powerful tool. Really, all you need is one side length on the ground and a correct angle to measure here, and you can tell the height of an object. That's pretty neat. All right, hope this helps.